We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today the Church celebrates the memorial of Saints Timothy and Titus, bishops. We ask their intercession. We ask for their prayers that we too may always be guided by the Word of God. We also join in the celebration the Diocese of Antipolo for the declaration of its cathedral as an international shrine of Our Lady of uh, Peace and Good Voyage. We ask the intercession of the Blessed Mother that uh, she may continue to embrace all of us, especially the people of Antipolo, the Diocese of Antipolo, with her maternal embrace. To make ourselves less unworthy of this Eucharistic celebration, let us humbly ask God's pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come again in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who adorned Saints Timothy and Titus with apostolic virtues, grant through the intercession of them both that living justly and devoutly in this present age, we may merit to reach our heavenly homeland. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the beginning of the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by the will of God, for the promise of life in Christ Jesus, to Timothy, my dear child, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. I am grateful to God, whom I worship with a clear conscience as my ancestors did, as I remember you constantly in my prayers, night and day. I yearn to see you again, recalling your tears, so that I may be filled with joy as I recall your sincere faith that first lived in your grandmother Lois and in your mother Eunice. And I am confident lives also in you. For this reason, I remind you to steer into flame the gift of God that you have through the imposition of my hands. For God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but rather of power and love and self-control. So do not be ashamed of your testimony 
to our Lord, nor of me, a prisoner for his sake, but bear your share of hardship for the gospel with a strength that comes from God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Be merciful, O Lord, for you have sinned. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness, in the greatness of your compassion. Wipe out my offense, thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin cleanse me. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. For I acknowledge my offense, and my sin is before me always. Against you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. I have done such evil in your sight that you are just in your sentence, blameless when you condemned. True, I was born guilty, a sinner, even as my mother conceived me. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Let me hear the sounds of joy and gladness. The bones you have crushed shall rejoice. Turn away your face from my sins and blot out all my guilt. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Please stand. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, This is how it is with the kingdom of God. It is as if a man were to scatter seed on the land, and would sleep and rise night and day, and the seed would sprout and grow. He knows not how. Of its own accord, the land yields fruit, first the blade, then the ear, then the full grain in the ear. And when the grain is ripe, he wields the sickle at once, for the harvest has come. He said, To what shall we compare the kingdom of God, or what parable can we use for it? It is like a mustard seed that when it is sown in the ground is the smallest of all the seeds on the earth. But once it is sown, it springs up and becomes the largest of plants and puts forth large branches so that the birds of the sky can dwell in its shade. With many such parables, he spoke the word to them, as they were able to understand it. Without parables, he did not speak to them, but to his own disciples, he explained everything in private. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. It is as if a man were to scatter seed on the land and would sleep and rise night and day, and the seed would sprout and grow. He knows 
not how. My dear brothers and sisters, in life, there will always be mysteries. In life, there will be questions that we will not find answers to. Ito yung gustong sabihin, isang gustong sabihin ng talinghaga. Lumalago ang binhi, nagbubunga ang binhi, nang hindi natin nalalaman ganap kung paano. Kaya nga sabi ko, sa buhay natin, marami tayong mga tanong na bakit? Bakit ganito? Bakit ganon? At madalas, hindi natin matatagpuan ang kasagutan. So ano ang dapat natin gawin sa gitna o sa harap ng mga ganitong katanungan na walang sagot? Magtiwala sa Diyos. Magtiwala sa Panginoon, alam niya ang kanyang ginagawa. Magtiwala sa Diyos. Kasi yun lang naman eh. Marami tayong hindi maiintindahang nangyayari sa buhay natin. Sa buhay natin, sa buhay ng pamilya ninyo, sa buhay ng lipunan, sa mundo, bakit may mga nangyayari? Katulad ng COVID, bakit ngayon? Bakit hindi ito naganap 50 years ago? Why not 50 years from now? Why now? At bakit may mga namatay at ako at tayo ay buhay pa? Bakit hindi tayo namatay sa COVID? O bakit yung iba sa inyo nagka-COVID, naging malubha, pero nabuhay? Bakit? Bakit tayo? Bakit hindi yung iba? Those are mysteries that most probably will not find answers. Kaya, ang pwede na lamang natin sabihin ay, Lord, hindi ko naiintindihan kung bakit nangyayari ito, pero nagtitiwala ako sa iyo, alam kong alam mo ang ginagawa mo. That is trusting in God's wisdom. Pero ang pangalawa, hindi lamang tayo inaanyayahan ng talinghaga ito na magtiwala, inaanyayahan din tayo ng talinghaga itong magtrabaho, magtanim, magbungkal, ang alagaan ang binhi. Yun ang ating ano, yun ang ating papel. Huwag nating questionin yung pamamaraan ng Diyos. Kasi minsan, eh, yun nga, eh, hindi lang minsan, kundi madalas, hindi natin maintindihan ang pamamaraan ng Diyos. Pero, dapat tayong kumilos. Ano yung madalas kong sinasabi sa inyo? Meron tayong kasabihan sa Tagalog, nasa Diyos ang awa, nasa tao ang gawa. Huwag tayong katulad ng iba na gustong umasenso sa buhay at inaasa na lamang lahat sa Diyos. Swerte. Sana swertehin ako. No? Sana tumama ako sa loto. We, may tumatama ba? No? Yun. Sana swertehin ako. Iniiwan lahat sa swerte. Hindi. Dapat magpawis din tayo Kumilus din tayo, magtanim din tayo. At matapos nating gawin ang dapat nating gawin, ipabahala natin sa Diyos ang lahat. Yun lang. We do our part. Let us allow God to do 
his part. Amen. Please stand. Full of hope and confidence, we make our prayer to God the Father, anxious for an increase of His presence in our life. To every petition, our response would be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may continue to grow and be a symbol of justice, love, and truth in the world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. That as a community, we may not be idle in our life of faith, but every day seek God, even in our difficulties and sufferings. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That families, especially our children, may grow in the ways of grace and mature into Christ-like people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick may be strengthened in their faith by uniting their sufferings with Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our beloved dead may reap the fruits of peace, joy, and serenity in God's kingdom, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, help us grasp the importance of the time in which we are living. Open our hearts to your word so that we may always bear fruit. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, which we bring in celebration of Saints Timothy and Titus. And in your kindness, render us fully acceptable by giving us sincerity of heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For us on the festival of Saints Timothy and Titus, you bid your church rejoice. So too you strengthen her by the example of their holy lives, teach her by their words of preaching, 
and keep her safe in answer to their prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, including Timothy and Titus, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With trust and confidence, let us pray to our common Father in heaven. Our, our Father, Father, who, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. 
my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Here I am. 
Please stand. Let us pray. May the sacraments we have received, O Lord our God, nourish in us that faith taught by the preaching of the apostles and kept safe by the labors of Saints Timothy and Titus, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Eucharist has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.